Heather Babcock on writing. Heather Babcock, your new chapbook is out. <laughs> Tell me about it. My new chat book is called Of Being Underground and Moving Backwards and it's been published by Devil House Press. It is a collection of my short stories. I'll write them first by hand. I have a lot of really great notebooks from the dollar store mostly. Um, I collect notebooks but um, I write them out, my stories out first and then I will usually go to the Toronto Public Library to type them up. Um, I also will go to the Toronto Public Library to write uh, a lot. Um, some of the stories in the collection, many of them were written on the subway, um, a lot of them were finished at the Toronto Public Library. Uh, the Brentwood Library in particular is a gorgeous library. It has um, beautiful little seats with built-in desks for writers right in front of the window and it's a wonderful place to write. I always carry a notebook around with me and when I think of an idea or a line or you know here's something that really hits me I'll, I'll write it down and come back to it later um, other times I will already have the story that I want to write or I think that I want to write already formed in my head but then once I actually start writing it it will a lot of times surprise me and go off in a different direction I started writing when I was in my late teens and my early 20s and I'm very embarrassed <laughs> of um, my original work from back then. I would not want anybody <laughs> to read it. Um, but how I became a better writer was by reading. Um, reading books by Toni Morrison, Hubert Selby Jr., Charles Bukowski, um, and being really inspired by these great, great writers. Um, and that was how I feel I became a better writer. So to become a better writer, I think you have to read better writers. My favorite part of writing is the performance. I love connecting with an audience. Um, but there are certain pieces that I have written that are really more t uh, geared towards performance and other pieces that are really best left on, on the page. Um, but certainly performing, that is uh, definitely, that's a wonderful way to connect with an audience and to feel out your work, what, what worked and what didn't. Um, I know that uh, a lot of writing teachers will tell you to read your work out loud, uh, which I think is a, a really great way to see how, if the flow is working or not. One of the best pieces of advice I ever received was from Daryl Salek, who, um, was the uh, editor of the Toronto Quarterly and unfortunately he, he passed away um, just just this past just this past June um, but he gave me a really great piece of advice uh, when it comes to writing he said sometimes you just have to not document everything you just have to just sit back and and take life in and and just live your life for a bit and then go back to writing and I thought that that was a really, really helpful piece of advice. Um, I think probably not just for writers, but for everybody. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>